Yo, it's Papa Sleep Boys. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little maintenance on the Dusty, the S side, because I haven't done anything to the car really. Uh, today we're going to be doing the spark plugs and the transmission oil. I've done the transmission oil probably 60,000 miles and I haven't done it since and I'm at 71 now. And the spark plugs don't need to be replaced, but it's always good to replace it before you got to. So yeah, man, it's two simple things to do. But here's the thing, my jack broke. So I don't really know how I'm going to lift up the car. I might have to use the, the emergency car jack that's like, you know, when your tire gets supplied, you got to use it. Might have to use that and I really don't want to use it because it takes forever to lift up your car. But hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, let's go play tribute to my Jack, cause my poor Jack, it didn't even last, it didn't even last like a year. It probably last like a year and like, I don't know. I don't know how long it didn't last, but it didn't last a while. Just look at it. Look at it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> my poor baby. Look at the oil. Look at the oil. In the arms of an angel. So yeah, we're gonna be using this ugly doo-doo crap jack. But uh yeah, we're gonna first do the spark plus it's easier. And plus you don't have to lift the car up to do that. And then uh obviously do the transmission, which is probably gonna take me a while because I have to use this. This. Really, this, this crap right here. I gotta use this crap. A little bit and I put you guys on the go. Easier for me to show you guys what I'm like what I'm doing so I can have my both my hands. So, man it's windy today. Oh my gosh. But yeah. So these are right here in your engine bay. All you really have to do is pop them out on both sides. Once you pop them out you want to take off your wind wipers to take off those. Is it raining? All right, my bad, you guys, with the cutting of the video. But uh, yeah, now what I was saying before before it started raining was that um, you remove these pieces right here of the car. So these pieces right here, hopefully you guys can see that in the GoPro. You move these pieces right here. And then after that, when you move those three pieces, those two pieces, you wanna lift up your, your one wiper. So most likely you're gonna have to close this, close your hood. Then you're gonna want to lift up on these. And these are really easy to remove. Just gotta get a screwdriver or a flathead or whatever you wanna use. And you wanna pry these pieces up. Like that. Put these somewhere where you won't lose them. And now I gotta figure out what size that is. I'ma guess and say 16, but not really knowing. I'm just hold this 18 just in case. Yep, it's a 17. There we go. Oh my gosh, that could have been bad. Stay on it. Well, that's not good. I need to get more extensions because these are going to kill me one day. All right, so to take these off, literally just just wiggle them. There we go. It's not very hard. It's 
So this one is this way. So I'm gonna lay this one like this. Do the same thing on this side, just wiggle and boom, comes out. back to removing stuff all right next step to remove this piece right here oh uh, i really show you guys how to do that but it's gonna be that little piece you see right here literally you just gotta pry it up and they'll pop off all the clips pop out these two clips and there'll be a clip right here it'll pop out pop out that one too and you just remove those pieces next thing you want to do you want to take out these all these uh don't really know what it's called those tabs just pop them out using a screwdriver or if you have a Panel remover, you can use one of those. And uh, yeah, man, this be able to slide out. So since they're already wiggling, it's just those leftover pieces are gonna get out. So yeah, it's good. So there you go, you guys. I'm gonna put out your little wind washer uh, line out. And then literally this will just pull right out. If you guys want, you also can disconnect it. So you guys won't have to worry about it, but I'm probably just gonna just move it out the way. And just set it right there, like that. And then the next step you guys want to do, it's going to be, I don't know how many bolts I'm going to count right now. So it's one, two, three, four, five. It's five bolts. That's going to remove this car right here. And it's kind of dirty. I might wash it. Don't yo, no, ah, don't know yet, but yeah. So one, two, three, four, five six seven eight so eight bolts nine nine bolts just to get that out so yeah man let's get it again hopefully these are tens gonna use an extendable extendo wrench extendable extension what you guys want to call it i don't care so yeah Boop. there it is one more one more right ow bam extendo Extend the wrench. Where's the, where's my adapter? Oh, wait, where is my adapter? All right, so let's see if it's a 10. Could have sworn there were 10s. This a ten? Okay, so maybe they're not tens. Maybe they're twelves. All right, so they're twelves. So all these bolts right here are twelves. All right, so the back bolt we're going to check right now, see if it's a ten, and it is. All right, so these are 12s. These three bolts on both sides are 12s. The one bolt on the back is a 10. Hopefully you guys can see that bolt. Don't know if the growth was pricking it up, but I'm hoping it is, but it's all the way back there. It's like literally all the way back there. Hopefully you guys can see that. There we go. So 
I got this removed. There's like a little adhesive pad that's on it. So got some car. I'm gonna have to wiggle it and remove it just to get it out. And uh, yeah, here's the piece that you guys have removed just to get to the spark plug. All right guys, so we're back on the camera because literally the step after what I just show you guys is pretty simple, pretty easy. So you pretty much have this on top of your, top of your coil pack, covering your coil packs like that. What you wanna do is just remove it. Each one of those four bolts are 10 millimeters. So it's really simple to get off. You just screw them off and they look like this. So when you get them out, they look like this. And I just dropped two of them. Gotcha, bitch. And then once you get those out, it's gonna be four of your little bolts right here. Of course, you guys can see. And uh, each one of them are, are uh, 10 millimeters. So do the same thing with those. And I'm gonna clean this up a little bit because I don't want nothing falling inside the engine. So yeah, I'm cleaning all this up. This is all nasty. Like, I don't know what it is. Even back here, I'm um, gonna wipe off the coal packs tops. And make sure you guys don't get these confused. I might mark them, but I don't know yet. So keep these in order. The same way you pull them out, it's the same way you're gonna put them back in. Don't swap one of these and put them in different orders. So yeah, let's get to it. So to make sure that I take these things out right and I put them back in right, I'm gonna mark them. So each one's gonna be one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, however you guys wanna do it. But yeah, I'm gonna do mine's one, two, three, four. And uh, when I'm placing them back, I know exactly which one came from where and which one should go where. So yeah, make sure you guys do this. It helps out, you're welcome. All right, guys, so to remove each spark plug is a 5 8 socket, so get to removing them. I already did the first one, now we're going to do the second one. You guys don't have to go fast, you guys don't have to go slow, you guys got to gotta go just right. And don't try to break it. It should just come out really easy. Then you guys can use metal. Uh, magnet to get it out and there goes one Ooh, it was time for me to replace these bad boys boy look at that hopefully you guys can see that well it was definitely time for me to replace these focus on this yeah it's definitely time to replace these Alright guys, so we're going to start doing the transmission oil change. That's fairly easy, really, really quick to be honest with you. I just don't have to jack for it. I'm using this piece of crap jack right there, sadly. But uh, yeah, so we're going to jack the car up. I'm going to show you guys where the fill bolt. I'm going to show you guys where the drain bolt. Drain out the oil. Let me fill the oil. Start the car. See that bad boy good and now Z it. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Okay, guys, so after like 52 years, I finally got the car up in the air. And I'm already tired. So, uh, yeah, I'll take you guys under the car, show you guys what bolt you guys have to uh, untighten just to get the drain pulled. That bolt right here, I can't really point at it, but this one literally right here is that bolt that uh, I'm so tired freaking jacking up this car. 
jacking up this car made me so tired. I'm like breathing heavy because literally my car is low. So it took me a while and I'm tired. But yeah, that bolt right there is literally the, uh, the drain bolt. So once you untighten that, which uses the, I think it's this 3 8 socket. Not even 3 8 socket, just the 3 8s. If I can find it, 3 8 ratchet right here. So literally you just stick it in and uh, break it loose. Be careful because I don't know how fast the oil will come out on your trans. So uh, yeah, just be careful. So I'm trying to do this with a clean shot without getting oil everywhere. And uh, yeah, it's not really a lot of space because I ain't put the jacks all the way up. So I'm like, I'm real snug. So uh, I'm tired. I need to buy me a jack. All right guys, so that bolt you see right there, literally that one bolt with the dot on it, zoom in on it for you guys that bolt right there is literally the fill bolt and the transmission takes uh two quarts and of course i'm using that oem stuff don't cheap out and buy some cheap transmission oil for uh for your transmission because you're gonna regret it buy oem it's only seven dollars so it's 14 dollars in total for two quarts it's not that bad of a price and uh if you don't have a honda local to you just order it offline don't be cheap and buy something from like walmart for three dollars and then your transmission is grinding and i don't know just acting retarded so yeah just buy honda oem or you could buy uh amsoil which i hear good reviews about but i'm gonna go with what the people made the car with instead of what somebody made for the car if you get what i'm saying but yeah two quarts of uh honda transmission oil and uh yeah make sure it's manual not automatic and uh yeah i'm gonna start the car so let's get it all right, guys, so transmission oil is done, spark plug's done. Now it's time to see this bad boy start. I'm hoping it starts, because I gotta go to work tomorrow. So, yeah, goes in the gear really smooth. All right, here we go. Hood's open, just in case, I gotta run out there. Okay. Goes in gear. way smoother yes sir feels good in it bad boy yes sir yes sir I know what you guys thinking like damn this boy got some waves but yeah this is a new day uh Actually, today is Friday, and I filmed this video like last week. So, uh, yeah, I didn't get to do the outro. I forgot about it. I literally filmed that last clip that you guys seen, came inside, took a shower, and beat my. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I'm at with the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram at underscore got the soda. And uh, make sure you guys stay like up to date with me because the merch is gonna drop soon. The the not the merch, but like the the air fresheners they're gonna be here soon so make sure you guys stay up to date with me follow me on instagram so you guys can know when i drop it i'll most likely post it on the story here on on uh youtube so yeah man it's gonna be it for the video hope you guys enjoyed it your boys out peace